This is the week that has everybody nervous. Thanksgiving, what's everybody going to do? You saw those crowded airports, right? That couldn't have made you, a doctor, feel very good. No. But I'll give you the latest uh, case numbers, the growing numbers from Johns Hopkins University. Now at least 58.7 million confirmed cases of coronavirus worldwide, more than 12.2 million of those right here at home. Now more than 256,000 American lives lost to this virus. All right, and Jen, obviously we're all looking for some encouraging mm -hmm. news. We've gotten some with the vaccines, and yeah. we know, of course, Pfizer's announcement that it is applying for that emergency use mm -hmm. authorization. Great news, but we also know it requires those extra cold yep. temperatures in order to store it and then disseminate it. Yep. What do we know? So let's do a deep dive into what's being called the cold chain issues or distribution with at least two of the vaccines to date, the Pfizer vaccine. This needs to be stored at minus 94 degrees Fahrenheit. The Moderna vaccine, a little less cold, but still pretty cold, minus 36 to 46 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, the distribution, we have to be clear, requires multiple handoffs under this strict temperature control. So here are the possible issues that could arise in this process. Uh, firstly, they need to be transported. And of course, during the winter, there can be weather delays. There could be even changes in the temperature with opening and closing of these freezer doors. The freezers, of course, are mechanical devices. They could potentially fail. You might need specialized refrigerated shipping containers and again to that degree that's not a standard or easy thing to do and there could even be the need for possibly special type of glass for the vials in which these vaccines come in so there are a lot of logistical factors that need to be figured out you said possible and potential issues but they've been preparing for this for a while are they ready yeah, and this is why I have that cautious optimism that we've heard doctors like Dr. Anthony Fauci talk about, is that this is not sprung on federal governments, state governments, the U.S. Army, BARDA, Operation Warp Speed. They've known that these mRNA vaccines may need very cold storage, and so they've had 10 months to get their ducks in a row. We don't have details about how they'll do that, but with the FDA deciding on December 10th, we should be hearing details about this cold chain very shortly. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.